This website for a fictional hotel uses a 980 pixel fixed width layout. So it looks fine on desktop and laptop computers, but it needs to be optimised for display on mobile phones and tablets. The first stage in optimising the CSS is to create style sheets that use media queries to control the delivery of styles to different devices. Dreamweaver CS55 employs a technique known as a site-wide media queries file. The role of this file is to import styles from other style sheets using a series of at import rules and media queries. This avoids the need to link to each style sheet with media queries in every page. You just link to the site-wide media queries file and it imports the relevant style rules. You'll soon see how it works. If you haven't already done so, open index.html in the Tozai Hotel Begin folder. Before creating the site-wide media queries file, you need to detach the existing style sheet. So select the style sheet in the All mode of the CSS Styles panel and click the trash icon at the bottom right to unlink the style sheet. The page is now completely unstyled but that'll be fixed in a few minutes. You create the site-wide media queries file through the media queries dialog box. There are several ways to open the dialog box in Dreamweaver CS55 but I think the most convenient is to go to the modify menu and select media queries. With the dialog box open, click the Specify button at the top of the dialog box. This opens a dialog box where you specify the site-wide media query file. You can either use an existing file or create a new file. I don't have one, so I'm going to select Create New File and then click this folder icon and go to the Styles folder in my site. And I'm going to call this one Torzai underscore MQ CSS and click Save and click OK to close that dialog box. Then you need to select this radio button and that makes it the site wide media queries file. And this message that's lit up here tells you that the details of the site wide media queries file are held in the advanced settings section of the site setup dialog box. So if you want to remove the site wide media queries file or change it to a different file, you need to go into the Site Setup dialog box. This checkbox, labelled Force Devices to Report Actual Width, is selected by default. What it does is automatically insert a special meta tag into each page attached to the site-wide media queries file and sets the width of the viewport to device width. This avoids problems with mobile devices reporting the wrong width and rescaling your pages. So that's exactly what you want, so leave that checkbox selected. The bottom half of the Media Queries dialog box is where you specify which style sheets to attach with Media Queries. Now you can do this manually by clicking this plus button here and adding various files, but I find it much quicker to use the default presets and then to adjust them. Selecting the defaults populates the area at the bottom of the dialog box with suggested values for mobile phones, tablets and desktop. The Properties section at the bottom of the dialog box lets you change any of the values for min width and max width. I'm going to change the max width for the phone to 400 pixels. I then need to attach my CSS file. I don't have one, so Create New File is correct. Click the folder icon and then go to the Styles folder. Now you'll notice that the Tozai MQCSS file that I created before isn't listed here. That's nothing to worry about. In fact, none of the files will be listed until you exit the Media Queries dialog box. Dreamweaver creates them all at the end of the process. So for the phones, I want to create a file called Phone CSS. Click Save, and then change the properties for Tablet. I've made max width of phone 400 pixels, so I need to make the min width for the tablet style sheet 401 pixels. I don't have a file, so I just select Create New File, then click the folder icon, go to the Styles folder, and create a file called Tablet CSS. Save. And finally, Desktop. I don't need to make any changes to the properties, but I do need to create a new file back to the Styles folder and call this one Desktop CSS and save.
And those are all the changes that need to be made in the Media Queries dialog box. So just click OK and you'll see that Dreamweaver has now attached Tozai MQ CSS to my page. Save both files by going to File, Save All Related Files. And let's have a look at the site-wide media queries file that has been created. It's got three at import rules, one for phone CSS, for tablet CSS, and for desktop CSS, together with the media queries, which have been automatically created by Dreamweaver. Now, because old browsers like Internet Explorer 6, 7, and 8 don't recognize media queries, I need to import the original style sheet at the beginning of this file without a media query. I've put it at the beginning because the style rules in the style sheets which are using media queries will override some of the basic rules. So I'll save that again and click inside Design View and you now see that the site is restored to its former glory. Let's take a quick look at the HTML source code and you can see that Dreamweaver has added this meta viewport tag in the head of the page and set content to width equals device width. This ensures that mobile devices respect the width definitions in your media queries. Also, you can see that the site-wide media queries file has been linked to the page. But if I open this here, you can see that the others are imported directly and they're now listed here in the related files toolbar but if I open phone CSS and the others you'll see that they're all blank they need to be filled in as the project advances. After defining the site-wide media queries file for the first page adding it to other pages is very easy. Let's just open another page and I'll remove the existing style sheet then go to modify media queries and the Media Queries file is already listed there, so I just need to select this radio button and click OK. And you can see that what Dreamweaver has done is it's added that viewport meta tag and has linked the Media Queries file. You need to do the same on the three other pages in the site, but I'll leave you to do that on your own. So that's how you create a site-wide Media Queries file in Dreamweaver CS55.